Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So in the past, we actually released a lot of content with regards to hatchery production and the formation of cultivation of mud crab crablets, as you see over here. However, the challenges remain as you have to put them in a pond or what we call nursery systems to cultivate them to a bigger size. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how we're actually currently doing it at the moment and what our current R&D setup. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys, for those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we actually produce content with regards to shrimp farming and mud crab farming using RS systems or even biofloc systems. So like and subscribe if you like our content and you get the weekly notification on our latest contents. So as you might know, this is actually how it looks like after you put the crabbers in a nursery for, for about 3 to 6 weeks. And this is what we call uh, matchbox sizes and they are about... Um, uh, 4 to 5 cm in sizes. So what we actually have done over here in Malaysia is to utilize what we call a tank and this is a purely R&D setup. So back then in Philippines, we realized uh, a lot of people were putting in a lot of artificial substrate so that the crabs would actually hide inside the substrate and this is actually what we have uh, already done. So majority of the substrate is those plastics mesh that you can easily find in your aquarium shop and we have also mixed in some what we call aquatic plants. Uh, these are Chitomorpha. Uh, they grow in very high salinity seawater. And you can see our crabs are able to grow as well. This is about three weeks as well. Uh, you can see that it's relatively four to five cm in sizes. We, but of course, we have a huge size variation uh, as we grow in an indoor condition. A couple of notes here that the crabs doesn't look as dark is because this is a different species from the ones in the Philippines. These are known as Sila Paramimosin, which is commonly grown in Vietnam. So they are a bit lighter in color and their claws have this reddish pattern on top. So obviously, apart from the bigger ones, we still have these smaller ones that are crawling around, which looks uh, which is only about 2 to 3 cm. So they are slightly smaller. Uh, I think it's probably due to the cannibalism and the bigger ones bring on the smaller ones. And we do see a lot of this. Uh, initially, I thought that this was uh, dead crabs, but actually it's not. Uh, it's actually the motor shell of this small crab, so, which is what you see over here. So this is... Uh, I think probably just molted yesterday and we just leave it inside for other crabs to consume it. Um, so in all speaking, we realized that this system is actually providing a lot of shelter, which is has a higher survival rate. So the shelter really helps with um, increasing the survival as the crabs will have a lot of place to hide. And, you know, this is to prevent them from fighting against each other. You will rarely see a crab that is, you know, coming out from the shelter to venture out uh, on the open areas like this. They would prefer to hide under shelters, for example, this basket or even under the mesh. Uh, and if you, you know, happen to go to them too closely, this, they will actually open up their arms uh, to welcome you. So you can see that uh, the claws are a bit reddish in color as well. So we also happen to manage to feel one of the one of the crabs, you know, having uh, some sort of uh, I think they're probably competing for shelter. So you can see one crab running away and you have two of them I think competing for the same shelter. So this guy, you know, even the crab at very, very early stage, they are very cannibalistic and very aggressive towards, hostile towards each other. So this is actually very crucial so that, you know, when you're designing a rust system to accommodate them, you need to make sure either you use boxes or plenty of shelters for them to hide so that they can, you know, avoid killing each other. Um, the cannibalism does not only happen at the crablet stage. During the larva stage, which is what you see over here, those black dots are actually crablets in the Z4 stage. They also will cannibalize each other, although they don't have claws yet. So hopefully, you know, you get a better understanding of the requirements of the species. So that's all for this video. We hope you guys enjoy and, you know, we welcome you back to subscribe and come to visit us anytime again in Rasa Aquaculture.